Simone, I got a riddle for you, and I'm gonna time how long it takes you to get it. It's a puzzle from my escape room game. Okay, shoot. So, Paul is six feet tall, works at a cheese store, and wears size nine shoes. What does he weigh? Uh, does his weight affect his ability to escape the room? Not at all. Do we know what size pants he wears? We do not. Simone, do you know where the noise canceling headphones are? Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. What is that? The Mayfair Music Festival moved its submission deadline up by a month! But you say you're gonna submit a song every year. Yeah, well, this year was supposed to be different, but the deadline is tomorrow, and I'm stuck, and I'm freaking out. Okay, I can see that. On a scale of one to ten, where are you at now? I will show you exactly where I'm at. Paul weighs 175 pounds, hot or cold. Freezing. Uh, what is that? This is my electrodermal transmitter, my anxiety tracker. It helps me manage my anxiety. It was my grade eight science fair project. I was measuring stress levels in plants when they hear the sound of chewing, and I accidentally discovered that I react the same way as the plants. As in, you don't like the sound of chewing? Who likes the sound of chewing? I can measure my stress levels through my skin. Is it helping? It helps me track my anxiety. It doesn't get rid of it. Simone, you remember the time that I had to do a presentation on the space program in front of the entire school? That was a 90. Now, I'm an 80. Okay, uh, why is there a zero on here? That's never going to happen. <laughs> well, thank you for your support. Look, if I had a mistake meter it would never, ever have a zero on it. Besides, I've seen you do amazing when under extreme anxiety. So, what'd you get on that presentation? 92. See? You got through that, you can get through this. Paul weighs 600 pounds from all the cheese? No. What helped you get through that time? I talked to you. Hey, look, I'm a 60. 60 sounds like the right number to start writing your song at. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. And I'm unstuck! So, did I solve the riddle in record time? No, you did not. What does Paul weigh? Cheese. Paul weighs cheese. Oh, oh, well, I'm sure he ate a lot too. I'm thinking I'll get my mom to take me out for pizza tomorrow night. Sure, if you have nothing better to do. That was weird. Okay, okay, we can come up with something. 14 minutes? Uh, how about we draw a live pic of Jackson's DNA on the board? How is that a group project then? Or a project at all? Okay, uh, human twister game. Shows how data can be stored in DNA. Jackson, what are you doing? Dear Miss Evanston, due to reasons, my group imploded. Can I please do a makeup project? Yes, this is why people hate group work. Traitor, who even are you? I'm a realist. We're cooked. This is all my fault. What? No, it's not. Technically. I talked you all into my idea, and I didn't think the timing through. We can all tell time, Simone. We all suck. Lana's really mad. Um, it's understandable. It's her first time getting a bad grade. She probably got super anxiety right now. Yeah. I've never missed a deadline either. Me either. Hey! I do hand in my work, you guys. Okay, good, you guys are still there. Don't go to class yet, I'm hurrying. Don't worry, there's still seven minutes till our doom, so. Okay, so, listen to this. Did you really just write a song instead of freaking out? Well, first I freaked out a little bit. What was your anxiety reading? It started at 109, but then it came down because I came up with this great idea, look at that. This song, this is our DNA project. I don't get it. Is it just me or? So, nucleobases have A, C, G, and T. Coincidence, musical scales also have A, C, and G, but not T. So people who write DNA music have to improvise a little wait, bit. Wait, wait, wait. People who write DNA music, you don't mean like, this DJ is giving me life, do you? No, it's a thing. DNA sequence is set to music. They use the note E to represent T, so it's... 
C-T-A-A-G-C. I googled it. Apparently, scientists use DNA music to hear patterns that aren't that obvious to the eye. It's cool, right? But how did you come up with this so fast? I used Jackson's DNA code, which we already had, mixed in a few pianos and simple G chords. Okay, uh, we can still get this in. You have it on drive? I'm just going to write Lana straight up save the day. Seriously, I can't believe you just composed our entire assignment. Thanks for saving our group. You would have done the same thing? Me? I almost ruined everything. So, making stuff that doesn't work is how you make the stuff that does work. That's literally science. Plus, you know, my chill is a work in progress. Do not tell Jackson. Sen, we did it. See, group work for the win. Wait, what? No, 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 I don't accept. What, she didn't take it? We still have two minutes until class. Dear class, after several requests, I've decided to grant an extension on the DNA project. See you tomorrow, Miss Evanston. You got yourself a handsaw. Yes, guys. I made this app, and if I take a picture of something, it tells me what it is. You got yourself a apple. And you made this to do what? Once it can identify foods, I hope it can figure out what I want to eat. Take away the guesswork. So why not just program it to say pizza and french fries? <laughs> french fries. You're making me hungry. Give me your phones. I'll download the app. My phone's dead. Lana, it'll only take two minutes. Whoa. Okay, fine. <laughs> what are you working on? Built a new room in my game last night. Just looking at it fresh. How many rooms do you have now? A uh, classroom, makerspace, and now the gym. And puzzles for the first two. Done. Hit the X or check mark after you take the photo. The more times it gets it right, the smarter it gets. Okay. You got yourself a personal laptop computer. <laughs> Actually, this is pretty cool. You got yourself a water bottle. I'm impressed, Jackson. Thank you. How many pictures do you want me to take? I don't know, a hundred? A hundred? Well, I'll have to do it later. I'm studying for math. Tomorrow's math test. I gotta go. So, just curious, would you be able to send me that picture of us eating banana splits last week? Uh, yeah, but then I need to focus. Please enter your password. What? That is not the correct password. What? Yes, it is. Jackson messed up my phone. I can't even get into it. Yep, he bricked it, which is why I never let Jackson touch my oh. stuff. Hey, what's up, Bev? Lana needs help with her phone. Uh, tell her to take it out of voiceover mode. I would if I could get into it. That is not the correct password. <sighs> you got yourself a really mad Lana on your hands. Like, mad mad. Uh, this is a bad connection. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Wait a second. Jackson? Yeah? Did you put a rock climbing wall in my gym? I'm nowhere near the gym. Unless you think that's a good place to hide from Lana. Jackson! Speaking of... Has someone been in my game? Simone, did you see Jackson's post? Ha! For once, he's actually right. Wait, I gotta let the dog out. Hey, 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 I've been texting you. Mom said I could just come up. Did she mention how mad she was? I forgot to wear this today. What are you making? Uh, something I've been working on for a while. Not really anything yet. Simone, are you okay? Are you in trouble for monopolizing the 3D printer or? Principal Ravelli asked me to head the team that submits to the Canada 2067 Science Expo in two weeks. Actually? Yeah. I know you applied for it, and the principal called me in to ask why I didn't apply and would I love to, and I said, yeah, can you believe it? No, I, I mean, yeah, that's amazing, that's good for you. She said she wanted someone to lead the team who loved trying new things. I thought my drone delivery was a disaster, but apparently it was thinking outside the box. It was both. 
I'm nervous and excited. I don't know if I can do this. The school wouldn't have picked you if they didn't have confidence in you. I know you can do it. Are you hurt it wasn't you? No, no. Well, a little, maybe. Principal Ravelli asked me to pick my second in command. Really? I, I would love to do that. I mean, you were just asking me, right? Of course. Yay, Dean! Hi. Hey, um, I'm still a little slow with this thing on. Could you send an email out to anyone interested to come to the makerspace tomorrow after school? Consider it done. I've been trying to come up with ideas but all the ones I've come up with don't work. Don't worry, we can figure this out together. Yeah, but I think as head of the team, I'm supposed to come up with something, aren't I? Okay, email sent. You know, just because you're head of the team doesn't mean you have to figure out everything on your own. That's why you have a team. But won't everyone expect me to come up with something? Whoa, getting lots of responses. What are they saying? Oh, uh, congrats, Lana. You'll be a great team leader. Uh, <sighs> Lana, I can't wait to work with you. Work with you? What about me? Simone, it's okay. They, they just assumed. I knew no one would think I could run the team, and with you sending out the email, great first move. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Sorry you thought me sending an email was stupid. See you tomorrow. Lana, you're not stupid. I'm stupid. <sighs> Great second ah, move. Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs>